What's up you guys? My name is Rachel Glam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back today filming another painting characters tutorial. You guys showed so much love on my last one, my Pikachu video. And so I want to keep these going for you guys and I like want to help inspire you. <laughs> I want to help inspire you to paint and really push yourself out of your comfort zone and try new things. So let's get into it. So today we're gonna to be drawing Totoro, which is from the movie My Neighbor Totoro, which is a Studio Ghibli anime movie that's super cute. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching it. Um, today my setup is a little different. I tried setting it up so you guys could have a little better view of what I'm doing. So if you felt like it looked better than the last video, let me know down below. I'm still kind of like working out my setup and like how to film and stuff. It's all new to me. I don't know. So to start off today, I've already gone ahead and prepped my nail with two coats of gel polish number 75 which is like a really pretty dark charcoal gray glitter <laughs> that was a lot but it's a gorgeous color i love to use glitter backgrounds while i'm working with characters just because i feel like it gives the nail a little more pizzazz you know so to start off totoro's body i'm going to be using the super light gray color from Valentino, number 49. We're gonna start about a third, a third down from the nail, from the top of the nail. And I'm literally using the brush from the bottle and I'm going to make like a little U shape, I'll just kinda manipulating the brush to make it a little bit of a curve and then when it goes down the sides or when I paint down the side I am going to bring that curve down even lower it doesn't have to be perfect right now we're gonna go in and um, define that line a little more with a liner brush in just a second so make sure at this part you're Applying the gel polish evenly, make sure there's no shadows or spots. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. And then you can take a little mixing tray and dab a little bit of that color onto the mixing tray. And... Dip your liner brush into it and define that curved line a little more. Make it as straight as you can. So once you're happy with that, we're gonna cure for 30 seconds. So, in my last video, I had like the reference photo on my phone, um, which I do still recommend that. That's how I normally draw it, but today I'm just basing it off of the tip that I had originally drawn it on. The next step we're going to take is to draw his little ears, which have these like jagged edges, but for the most part are like a triangle shape. We have the mixing tray with our gray on it. We're going to dip the brush into it. And I'm going to start his ear. I'm just going to, I'm just going to make sure I don't have fuzzies in my brush first. So I'm going to dip my brush in and make sure the brush is fully saturated with the gel polish. I'm going to go from one side. I'm going to make a little dot right here where I want his ear to end. And then I'm going to follow it over to the other side and draw another dot with the polish to try and make sure that the ears are even and that they will end at the same spot. And then from that point, I'm just going to draw two straight lines like I'm drawing a triangle, a very narrow triangle. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. And we're gonna go in with the little details in just a second. And then he has these little like jagged points at the base of his ears. So what I'm gonna do is just draw little triangles poking out like this. So once you're done with that, go ahead and cure again for another 30 seconds. Taking gel polish number 45, which is Valentino's white polish. And we're gonna draw in Totoro's little belly. So we're gonna draw his belly probably like halfway up his little body. So probably up to here. And I'm going to use the same technique I used before and just use the brush of the polish. And as you can see, I'm applying a lot of pressure and gently pushing up the brush to create that curved line I want and dragging it down for a nice and even application. And then when we bring it over to the sides, we're going to drag it down a little lower. And then fill in his body. Okay, so we have his little body filled out. I'm going to take my mixing tray again. Okay, so we're going to put the white onto the mixing tray and make his two eyes. If you feel uncomfortable, like you feel like you're going to mess this part up, go ahead and flash cure his little belly now and then you can put his eyes on. I'm placing the dot for his eye directly underneath his ear and I'm placing it in the middle of his ear and his stomach. And I'm just going to keep pressing into the middle of that dot I just created, pushing the product out a little more to make his eye a little bit bigger. Then it'll look something like this. And once you are done with that, we're going to cure for 30 seconds. Once that is all cured, I am going to top coat it with some matte just to smooth out my surface again. I like working on um, a matte base and top coating I mean you can work on any base if you like shiny you can do shiny too but I like to top coat in between my steps because then it ensures that there's not not going to be any texture on the nail once you're finished painting since you're adding so many different layers onto the nail in different parts 
when you rub your finger over the nail sometimes it can feel kind of lumpy or bumpy so top coating in between steps really ensures that you're not going to have that texture and cure for another 30 seconds all right now that this guy is all cured we are gonna go in back into that light gray that we used to paint his body saturate the brush but not over saturate it we want the brush to look like this so I'm going to start in the middle of his body and we're going to be drawing they're like upside down V's I guess like you know when you draw birds in the sky when you were a kid and you would just kind of draw them like this <laughs> that's how we're going to do it so he has three on the top row and then four on the bottom row So, if you don't like something that you painted, you can just take a small cleanup brush with a little bit of alcohol on it and wipe it off. which is black. I'm gonna take my mixing tray again, dab a little bit of black onto it, clean off my striping brush, and we're now going to go in with the fine, fine, <laughs> with the fine details and outline his body. So again, uh, don't flood the brush with product, just very small amounts. The nice part about this picture is he's kind of like a sketch, so you don't have to make the lines super perfect and super straight, like you don't have to make them all the same width and stuff. Um, so that makes this character a little easier to paint, especially with the little fine details. Um, you can tell I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on my brush, not a whole lot of product on my brush. This, this picture is kind of like a sketch I'm going off of, so if the line work is not perfect on this one, it's okay because it kind of adds to to the character. It gives the character character, okay? And when I am doing this part, you can tell I'm balancing my pinky on my index finger, supporting my painting hand so it's not shaky.
And then I'm gonna go in and outline the little details on his belly very lightly. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on the brush. So I have my brush horizontal to the nail and I'm literally just going to drop it down and lift it up and there's his nose. Okay, and then with the remaining product, I'm just going to draw with the tip of my brush. I'm almost like pointing my brush straight up from the nail. So with the very point of my brush, I'm just going to draw an upside down U for his mouth and then above his nose he has these little line details like this okay I'm gonna flash cure so I don't mess up go ahead and outline his eyes very lightly Okay, and we're going to take our dotting tool into the black and draw his little pupils. And they're going inwards like they're looking up. So we're going to draw them in the upper left hand of the white. Just a small dot. And then last but not least, we're going to add these little shading details that go along the side. So we're just going to draw three light lines like this. And just draw those going up his side. Just adding a little detail to him. And draw it on this side of his ear as well. Okay, and then once you're all done with that, we're gonna go ahead and matte top coat twice, and I'll see you back here with the final results. So here is the final look. So cute, my little Totoro. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you learned something. If you liked it or you have any requests for the next video, please comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you could support me by subscribing to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And until next time, bye.